I am in court. I interpret <clears throat> for Greeks that don't speak good English or don't speak it at all or pretend not to be speaking it, hoping to win their case that way, on my back basically, riding on my mistakes. And the judge knows it, and we all know it, but we pretend not to know, hoping justice will take its due magical course, that it will overcome us all and shine, just like in fairy tales. We're sitting here, hoping for the best, and the judge knows it and smiles at me, as he at times can tell that I don't know what I'm doing, that at times both Greek and English fail me, that I drift in those gray areas of language, where things might not mean what they seem, where right or wrong come but an inch apart, because there's sometimes no right or wrong, and the judge knows it, and smiles at me as he knows that it's on my mistakes and forgetfulness that this case might be decided, and that it's okay, because there's nothing else to decide but the admission of an error. Oh, a comedy life is, that I start my day with no words, and leave court with but a couple, that I forget the moment I walk down subway stairs, that it's possible that the whole thing is a travesty, but so is life, and that through some absurd means, justice will be done, but life is absurd, so how can people's deeds escape that very fact that lies at the bottom of existence? And the judge knows and smiles at me, but justice is carried on light wings. Perfection is unnecessary because no outcome is ever perfect as long as we all know it, meaning as long as we share the same philosophy, as long as we are all in on it, that this world isn't perfect, but we are doing all we can because justice is carried on light wings as long as we all know it.